fantasy sports betting website DraftKings celebrated its move into its new offices in the Back Bay. At the same time, there is uncertainty as the state is struggling to keep up with some stiff competition for those gambling dollars. WBZ's John Keller has the details. It was all smiles at today's ribbon cutting, but if there isn't a touch of fear behind those smiles, maybe there should be. DraftKings may be thriving, but these are troubled times for the Massachusetts gambling industry. Our first full-scale casino opened with a bang last summer in Springfield, but winter and worn-off novelty have taken their toll. We are ready to move forward on East Windsor. And a planned new casino just across the Connecticut border will take its own bite of the regional pie, which already shows signs of being sliced too thinly. Two-hour drive, not a bad, not a bad deal. Rhode Island has moved quickly to cash in on the legalization of sports betting, with Governor Raimondo just yesterday signing a bill to allow online wagering. Meanwhile, Governor Baker's bill to bring sports betting here is months away at best from any action. Our hope that at some point uh, during this legislative session we'll get this done and join the ranks of other states. And next week, the State Gaming Commission will hold hearings on the future of the nearly finished Encore Casino in Everett under challenge on multiple legal fronts. We are enormously proud of the tech reputation and the innovative reputation that Massachusetts has developed over the course of many decades. But when it comes to cashing in on the fast-changing gambling business, we're developing a reputation for being a step or two behind. Now, stripping Encore, that's the renamed wind company of its license because they didn't disclose their former CEO's legal issues would be a devastating blow. That thing is supposed to open in June, Liam, and they're already hiring up. And with thousands of jobs yeah. on the line, do you think there's really any chance the Gaming Commission strips that license and leaves that hole there? Anything could happen. I seriously doubt it, though. I think a stiff fine is much more likely. That's what Nevada mm -hmm. levied on the former Wynn Corporation. But it's just another sorry chapter in our halting progress here. Gambling was legalized here eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And we have one slot parlor, one casino that's struggling, and now maybe a second. We'll see where it goes. John Kelly, thank you very much.